Tonight, Salinas officially has a new city council member for District 3. KION's Austin Castro talked with Jesus Valenzuela moments before he was sworn in earlier today. He joins us now live in studio. And Austin, I understand some people here pulling out an old opinion piece where Valenzuela was advocating for a reduction in police funding and an increase in social programs. What's his reaction to it? Well, Veronica, Councilmember Valenzuela tells me his ideas have evolved and he affirms the Salinas Police Department needs a lot of support. He is shifting the focus. It has been just over two weeks since he was appointed and he says he's in the process of getting up to speed on city business. Salinas' District 3 has new representation with the swearing-in of Jesus Valenzuela to City Council on Tuesday. I say you have been duly sworn in. Congratulations. <laughs> Councilmember Valenzuela was appointed to the role two weeks prior and will serve through at least the November election. For me, it's learning as much as possible from every department and then going neighborhood by neighborhood and setting up meetings in churches and schools, wherever uh, there is a, a good space um, to be able to bring that information to the community. Following his appointment, some people online raised concerns surrounding a 2022 article he wrote entitled Reimagining Defund the Police, where he mentions reinvesting in the community. When asked about it prior to the oath of office, he says his ideas have changed over time. To me, shows the evolution of my thinking as an individual. Back then, I was a community organizer. Now, having worked in the city of Soledad, um, I get to see different perspectives. In terms of how his views applies to the city of Salinas today. Right now, I know that our police department, Salinas Police Department, needs a lot of support. There are a lot of vacant positions um, and, you know, there for whatever reason, a lot of folks are not applying uh, to become police officers. Valenzuela follows in the footsteps of former District 3 Council Member Steve McShane, who resigned earlier this year. I want to continue his legacy of engaging community members. I want to be as accessible as possible to them. Now, Councilmember Valenzuela also currently works for the city of Soledad as their community engagement manager. He also previously told me that he is interested in potentially running for re-election come November. Veronica. Thank you, Austin. We shall see. And Councilmember Valenzuela was one of 11 people who applied for the District 3 Council seat last month. Following his oath of office, City Council also adopting the city's operating budget for the 2024-2025 fiscal year.